because we basically like basically this is our home on the range uh, and it's where the deer and the antelope play <laughs> they have been I would suspect that's what has been under and over this fence and it's broken on the other side of the lake again and I'm at a real disadvantage because if you'll remember I got a D in physics <laughs> Fencing is a lot of physics, and I'm not good at it. And this is where we're gonna hook up the ratchet. We'll go right here, and then we'll be able to just ratchet that fence a little bit tighter so it's not sitting on the ground. Mr. FFB is working on the tractor from our last video uh, because it won't, <laughs> won't start again. Even if we pull it, it won't start. So he's trying to figure out what's wrong with it. And Stone and I are headed out to check cows and put a little band-aid on some fence. This fence that I'm working on today, I did a lot of work <laughs> on it earlier, like September, October, when we put cows in here last. Um, the fence was down and yeah, you can get out, good boy. I'll just walk down here and show ya. So last fall, this fence that I'm out here to work on today was broken across the lake over here on the other side of this lake. It was broken and so part of the wire was in the water Anyway, I had to patch it up and then get it up out of the water. Well, because we basically, like basically this is our home on the range uh, and it's where the deer and the antelope play, <laughs> they have been, I would suspect, that's what has been under and over this fence and it's broken on the other side of the lake again. Only this time of year, the lake is frozen, so the wire here is frozen down into the lake. So what we're gonna do today is just put a little band-aid on the fence so that when we kick the cows in here, they won't, like I'm just gonna make it tight to the ice so the cows won't like walk through the wire and drag the wire out so that when it thaws out, we can actually come out and fix it correctly. Sandburrs, my old nemesis. When I squatted down to show you guys that wire, I was sitting on this thing. Ouch! To be more specific about the band-aid situation, we are putting the cows in essentially two different pastures. And the reason, so the, the gates on either end of where the band-aid and the fence will be, they'll both be open. Um, one of these pastures is a meadow and a really, really wet meadow. It's mostly that lake you saw. Um, well, this lake right here. So there's not a lot of actual grazable area in here. So we're just going to leave both gates open and let the cows have both sides, but we don't want them to like drag the wire around and just walk through the middle between the gates because eventually when it thaws we will fix it like I said so we can just graze one side or the other although unless it dries out a lot I doubt we'll ever just graze the meadow side by itself because it's so wet so now that I've got both gates open I'm just driving along the fence line looking for the break in the fence so I can patch it up. Which, I think I saw that Mr. FFB flagged it last time he was out here. And that would be really handy if, if that is in fact the case. Because then I wouldn't have to look quite so hard. I think he did, here's the flag. Oh yeah! He's a smart one, that Mr. FFB. Ha 
<laughs> what a guy. He flagged it for me. And this is where it's broken. It must have just come apart from the splice. So, <laughs> we try to be frugal and reuse things if we can, which is what this string fence is. It's been used a few times, and apparently it is showing a little wear. <laughs> that last one kind of hurt. I hit myself in the chest, but I'm going to try some of this a little farther on the roll. looks a little better, so I'm going to try it again. See what happens. isn't very tight but <laughs> hopefully it has a ratchet on the other end that I can tighten it up a little bit with otherwise it's just gonna have to be what it is because I can't get it much tighter and I don't have a fence stretcher and even if I did have a fence stretcher it wouldn't work yeah, I'm gonna have to get this tighter somehow because we're on the ground here. That ain't gonna work. No ratchet. So I'm gonna have to figure out another way to get it tight. Er, it doesn't have to be super, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be tight enough that it doesn't sit on the ground. <laughs> and this is smooth wire electric fence so even if I had a fence stretcher it w I wouldn't be able to use it because it doesn't work very good on smooth wire and especially doesn't work on string fence so I'm gonna have to figure something out and I'm at a real disadvantage because if you'll remember I got a D in physics <laughs> Fencing is a lot of physics, and I'm not good at it. Oh well, we'll figure it out. I learned a long time ago that sometimes to save time and get a job done, you have to take the time to sharpen the saw. And I was not getting anywhere trying to stretch that fence tight enough to get it off the ground just using my hands. So, Stone and I are headed back to the shop to get
get the ratchet put on the other end of the fence so that we can stretch it tight enough to get it off the ground and get it to do the job we need it to do. So we're sharpening the saw today. Well, made it back out here. I'm gonna do a couple of things different. I'm going to put a ratchet on the other end of this fence where we opened that gate when we first got out here. And I'm gonna put a different type of string fence on here that will hopefully be stronger and hold up so at least I can get it tight enough to where the fence is off the ground. We'll see if it works. So the type of string I'm going to use now is this stuff here and it is braided which the camera is having a really hard time focusing on that there yeah this braided stuff is a little bit stronger and less likely to break hopefully than this twisted stuff it's also the braided stuff's also a little bit newer than this twisted stuff so hopefully that'll help us out too Okay, I'm gonna put this ratchet together right now, just so it's ready to go when we're ready to go. Okay, so we got that string all hooked up and now we're here at the other end at this post. And this is where we're gonna hook up the ratchet. We'll go right here and then we'll be able to just ratchet that fence a little bit tighter so it's not sitting on the ground. Well, I've got it, I don't know, it feels kind of tight, barely tight at the ratchet, but I'm going to go down the fence line a little ways and make sure that it's off the ground. And if it is, then we're all set. 
the fence was not off the ground everywhere. I uh, found a place where there was like a, I'm probably not gonna use the right term, the wire keeper that holds the actual fence wire to the post and holds it up off the ground. That one of those was on really tight and so I just loosened it up and then I went back to the ratchet and tightened the fence up a little bit more and everything's off the ground and should be go to, good to go until spring when we can get out and fix it right. If you'd like to watch more fencing videos, I've got some right over here for you. Go ahead and click one of these and watch us fence. <laughs>